We are faced with challenge upon challenge. Life has become very difficult. It's not so easy. We went through this virus. We had unprecedented times with lockdowns, with people losing their loved ones, losing their health, losing their jobs. People have struggled so much. And you know what? At that particular time, the need for a person to grab on to their faith is the most and yet shaitan comes and makes you think to yourself you know what may Allah forgive us all protect us shaitan makes one think that your lord has let you down no he hasn't he knows it will strengthen you it will bring you closer to him perhaps there are days of goodness to come how many have seen ease once again? How many have struck business deals after that that were far better than before? How many have been restored in their jobs in better positions? Yes, not everyone. But it's coming slowly but surely. Have hope. I'd rather die having hope in my heart that a good day was going to come and it didn't in this world and have a meeting with Allah on the day that I meet with him with hope in my heart subhanallah then having died at the same fixed time hopeless it's the quality of life if I were to ask you what does faith do to you a lot of things a lot of things but one of them is one of them is it helps you improve the quality of your life the quality of your life it's amazing because Something bad happens, you have no faith whatsoever. What happens to you? You're depressed, you're sad. At least when you have faith, you have hope, you have conviction, you know Allah is in control, you know good days are to come. Faith teaches you to look at that which was bad and bear patience. And to look at that which was good and be thankful and show gratitude. It's called shukr on one hand and sabr on the other hand. Thankfulness and gratitude on one hand and patience on the other. But if you, are, if you have lost touch with your maker where is the patience going to come from you'll say a patient for what people are choosing now to terminate their lives but as a believer no i will live for as long as my maker keeps me alive even if i'm struggling every moment that i endure i have to go anyway the people who led the happiest lives or from a material perspective the most successful lives they also have to go what happened to the billions that they amassed? Subhanallah. They had to go. They went. It, did it help them? No. So there has to be something to come where there will be a, a distinguishing between those who wasted their time and those who tried. That's why we're here this evening to say, my brothers and sisters, let's try. And let's try harder. And let's never let two days be equal Today should be better than yesterday. Tomorrow will be better than today. In all ways. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us.